looks like only one of my mics is working. Let me fix that real quick. So you guys can see me. You can hear me. You can see me. It's so messed up. So I think that you set one thing up once, and then it would be done. And it's never the case in this particular platform. But I'm here. I'm recording. Um, I need to remember to mute my laptop because <laughs> you're going to hear it in surround sound and that's not what we want um, so tonight we are making the Italian pork sausage gnocchi bake and we've been putting it off because it wasn't fresh gnocchi and our other basket that we get the um, one that's local here in New Hampshire that is called Local Basket. If they have gnocchi in their dish, it's amazing, but it is fresh. And the night you get it is the night you make it. Um, we got two meals that were kind of a mystery from them, them this week um, because I forgot to make our selections. And then there was a problem. Well, I kind of had made our selections already because they really, these were the two best meals and I picked them at least a week ahead of time. Um, <clears throat> but they had uh, a problem where in the software it wasn't letting you deselect an item and that item wasn't available for the week. So they were punching in everybody's options by hand into the spreadsheet instead so they can order from all their local suppliers. So we ended up with two that... I'm going to be happy with, and uh, it's a good experiment, but they are, let's see, we got chicken sausage with date sweetened Brussels sprouts and squash, and I do enjoy sweetened Brussels sprouts, um, or rather Brussels sprouts, period, if they're good Brussels sprouts, oh my god, um, with dates, and then the other one is uh, kale and fresh herb meatballs over penne, which is, also sounds really good, though I normally wouldn't pick like a plain pasta Austin because the only one that is a fresh pasta is their gnocchi. Everything else is generally um, the just boring from a box pasta that you rehydrate yourself. And the other option we still have left for every plate is sweet and tangy cherry meatballs. I may be on twice a couple times this weekend. We'll see how it goes. Um, I have the sniffles. I actually stayed home from, I have a mental health support group I usually go to tonight. Um, I stayed home from it, so one, I wouldn't make other people sick. And two, I had done a lot of errands and running around earlier today um, <clears throat> because life. <laughs> and it took a lot out of me, so I needed some recoup time. So I... I am now finally getting around to cooking dinner at 9 o'clock at night, which you guys have noticed that dinner ranges for us depending on schedules and depending on energy levels. So some nights I might cook at 10, 11, and other nights I might cook at 6, 7. My goal is to cook mostly around 7. Um, that also takes care of <laughs> my dog won't interrupt us <laughs> because he eats dinner at 7. And today he ate a little bit early, but I still wasn't recouped enough in order to join you guys earlier. Um, Jillian had meatballs today for lunch, so we didn't do meatballs tonight. But we will probably do them tomorrow because I, I can't keep the meat for one of these <laughs> past today. So um, let me get the recipe card right here and then we will pull all the ingredients and start prepping. Okay, yellow onion. That's this one here and this must be the size they want. So one yellow onion. Let's pull the stuff out of the refrigerator. Don't mind my refrigerator. It's a little, I still have to use my pizza dough. I made the sauce and then we just haven't done it yet. Maybe that will be a midnight snack tonight. Uh, Roma tomato. Uh, garlic, I'll get the garlic in a second. The pork sausage. Um, the gnocchi. A little thing of cream cheese. Um, shredded mozzarella. No, that's Parmesan. This is mozzarella. Uh, the rest must be for the other meal, which I'm going to 
I'll reorganize my refrigerator later because that's the last meal and the next one comes by the end of day tomorrow, which is why I'm like, I, can't, I need to eat the other meal that is in there, but we've been mixing it up and there was one day this week that I like, my brain literally couldn't do anything. <laughs> um, actually, it was last night that I was, I called and said, I'm on my way <laughs> home, finally. Um, and I know that it's always a crapshoot, but I, it was late, which isn't usually too horrible for me because um, I'm a night owl. I'm not a morning person. Um, but then it got I got, like, sidetracked and all these things um, yesterday that I um, called, and it was, like, quarter of midnight. And I'm like, I, she asked, Jillian asked if I was going to make dinner. I was like, there is no, like my brain is completely mush. I stopped at a McDonald's and got a ginormous Coca-Cola and a double cheeseburger. And it wasn't even a good double cheeseburger. It made me sad. The cheese wasn't melty. Like, why are you giving me a cheeseburger without melty cheese? What else is left in here? I've been trying to keep them separated. Oh, there's jam in here. That must be for tomorrow for the cherry ones. Italian seasonings. Tomato paste. Do, 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 do. That's it. The rest must be for tomorrow. There's three ingredients left. And there's only one meal left. So that makes sense. And there's like three ingredients in the fridge. So the first thing it does say, I, I briefly read over this, um, that we're going to use a oven safe pan because we're gonna be broiling this in the oven. So I just wanna, you know, be prepared and I like read the bottom and made sure that ours was gonna be good tonight. Um, as always, the first step is wash and dry our produce. My cat is like under my feet now. Usually it's the dog, the cat's here. I'm like, I fed you today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This smells like so good. Oh, garlic. It says two. We'll do these. Three little baby ones. I'll put my cute little garlic guy away. He's so cute. Um, just in case you guys didn't know, it is meant for garlic. And it has these cute little air holes to like let it breathe. I know I don't have the top shelf showing, but it's all, this comes some bean pots and there's some, um, oh, what is it? There's a cup, there's like three different styles up there. There's a, of bakers, like cast iron or stoneware bakers. And I'm going to be using them more. There's a pork loin dish I make that's amazing. And I only make pork in these at this point because... You can't, you can't get, I have not yet been able to keep pork moist any other way that I have ever cooked this meal, like that dish. It just doesn't happen. I also, oh, I forgot to put my little thingamabob in my posts and things. Oh no, I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, do, do, do. I posted everywhere and I forgot to put the link to find me. That's sad. That is very sad. I'm also in the wrong profile. That doesn't help either. Comment. Uh, Twitch. Dot. TV slash upbeat duck. There we go. Much better now. So now we have everything out. Let me grab my trusty little towels. We won't use those. We'll use like just regular ones. <laughs> I have um, my seasonal towels are still in the drawer because there's no wrong season for snowflakes. That is why I picked them. I was at the store last year and I saw them and I was like, oh, I need to get these. <laughs> B 
because they were the only ones that didn't have Christmas, like, emblazoned all over them, be it reindeer with red noses or what have you. It was just colorful snowflakes. That's it. Of all different shades and everything else, and it was gorgeous. Let me, um, did you wash an onion? I don't really, wa I don't know. Well, we're going to wash it today. I'm going to discard the outside anyway, so I don't know why. I know I don't do it to garlic. Do, am I supposed to do it to garlic? Now I'm questioning all my life decisions in the kitchen, and I've only been cooking for a year. <clears throat> oh, do, 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 do. And, of course, I'm doing some... Um, oh, I don't want that one. I, I'm doing... Oh, sorry. Doing. I really like these knives. I really need to learn what each knife is for because I don't know. I just know that they're pretty and they're functional. <laughs> um, I'm doing some consulting work at the moment. Um, nothing extraordinary, trust me. Uh, <laughs> but the. Um, there's a couple different things that are going on for the people I do um, consulting for this weekend. And I'm doing this while also being sick, while also helping them. And i am just be lucky I'm cooking today, basically, is <laughs> like to myself. Be lucky you're cooking today. Um, it is a Thursday. I'm trying to... Why is this onion being difficult? It's like, did I not take the outer layer off? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. I don't know what's what this onion's issue is that it wants to... Uh, but fine, be, the, be difficult. I don't need this much onion anyway. I hope I don't need this much onion. That's a lot of onion for this much everything. So we're gonna, oh, this one, this recipe at least tells me to remove the sausage from the casing because the last thing I made was sausage. They, I think they meant to, they really wanted to send a pork sausage, like pre-mixed pork sausage. Instead, they sent the uh, pork sausage links and I think they meant to do it the other way. Sorry, I just can't. <laughs> This onion is being difficult, and I'm not happy about it. But yeah, I'm going to have to get one of those little containers to put on my island for composting because this is getting ridiculous with how much stuff that's I'm accumulating in, like, even a couple days. And I'm struggling cooking for two people, like, let alone cooking for three or more. Ugh. And if I do have to blow my nose or sneeze, I will try to remember to throw, turn my mics off. No guarantees, people. I'm really sorry. <laughs> there are a bunch of other people right now streaming that I'm super excited about. There's someone that was talking about PAX East that's uh, live on the front page of Twitch tonight. And I immediately clicked on them and I was like, I'm going to go see this person perform because they are amazing. Uh, they're a singer and um, musician. So we washed and dried all the produce. Oh, now we have to get my pot out. I'm going to do a smaller pot because Noki doesn't um, really expand beyond. Oh, yeah, it does. What am I talking about? We learned that lesson the hard way. Let's not do that giant disaster. <laughs> Let us actually use a big enough pot. Um, oops. Come on, the water. And I'm gonna light, lightly season it with salt. Not too crazy. Um, it is, you know, just for the little bit of seasoning into I don't know, make the water boil faster. Is that what it's for? Now I have to find out all these crazy terms. I will be updating my schedule, by the way. I asked um, 
Jillian to update it so that it would be at seven o'clock for when for Tuesday night and it made every single night a countdown for seven o'clock that's not possible <laughs> especially like yesterday I didn't stream at all tonight I am streaming much later and I know that's why not a lot of my friends are on and family are on right now because it is nine o'clock at night and there's other things to do in the world so we're bringing that to a boil. We're going to half peel and finely chop the onion. I actually, so this is one of my cool little unitaskers. So I'm gonna do some plugging um, and I will make sure to make like a little clip here. Uh, my mother, one of my uh, mother-in-law people is having a Pampered Chef party right now. <laughs> and I probably will have one next month. <laughs> I am a sucker for some of their things. Some of the things you just don't find other places and I don't really understand why because some of them are pretty ingenious. They do, other people do make this. This is mine. So I'm going to actually use this instead of, um, well, let me, let me do a qu quick little cutaway here. So, let me go zoom into my island. Hey. So this is like their little like dicer. That's like a hand one, which is really neat. So I'm going to put the onion in here because it says to finely chop it. And chopping by hand, it can kind of be a pain. So I'm just going to put those in there. Now Jillian's going to tell me I should sell Pampers Chef. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it at this point because now I actually, you know, know how to cook. Uh, but I already have a job and we already are part owners in a restaurant and we are already so many things. I am going to mute the backup camera um, just because it can get a little noisy. Oh, come on. Did I not do it? Right? Yeah, that's right. Why is... Oh, damn it. Now I... I think I didn't cut them small enough to even go in there. It's fine. I thought I had to... I thought I cut them in the right size. Am I wrong? Ooh, it's supposed to avoid this whole, like, hurt your eyes thing, and I just had to take it out. So it's not helping with that, by the way. Oh, eyes watering. I don't have this problem with Vidalia's and not nearly as often with scallions, but for some reason these yellow onions are brutal. Absolutely frickin' brutal. And yes, I said the word frickin'. I don't know if there's any crazy shows on tonight. I don't know. I watch most of mine. Um, after they've aired anyway. Wow, my eyes are like, is it because I have a cold that my eyes are because I can't breathe through my nose? Okay, there we go. I just didn't chop them into small enough pieces. Sorry. But this is like, oh, so good. And you do have to do it a while to get it fine enough chopped. It's also good for like mixing stuff together. Like, if you want to make, like, a guacamole or a salsa thing. I should get a replacement blade for this, though. But, yeah, I don't want to sit here and chop onions for the next bazillion years and have onion juice all over my hands. Every once in a while, you just kind of have to, like, shake it up, basically, to, like, mix up where the onions are so that, just like a regular blender, sometimes you have to go in and just kind of spatula them around. I know, this doesn't look very entertaining. Let's move to a different shot. Hi. I just realized you're looking at white on white on white, and my hand is going up and down and up and down. 
That's not bad. It needs to be a little bit more. I don't know how finely they want these. Just said finely chop. That's decent. That's probably about as finely as I would have chopped it anyway. So um, some pieces are bigger than others, but that is the nature of the beast. I'm just going to lock that there. Next, we're going to peel and finely chop the garlic. So we're just going to use a garlic press. I learned this the other day. Just use a garlic press. If they say finely chop, unless they say and or grate, just use a garlic press. It's, it's not worth it <laughs> to do it any other way. Um, I am going to do the whole, like, press it open thing because I don't want to struggle today with taking off the peel, even though I prefer to do it just like, I don't know, maybe it's, like, therapeutic to me just to peel off the skin without cheats, even though I know they're good cheats. This is actually four pieces of garlic. What in the world just happened? Okay. Didn't really need this giant cutting board today. Oh, the water's not there yet. Let me turn on the water, though, because we're going to need... I mean, the light over the water. Because um, we're going to need the stove cam just for a tiny bit today when we mix everything together. There was a little tiny baby clove um, of garlic, but that's, I feel like that's not worth it. Well, I'm gonna. reason it got clicked on so if you heard that I'm sorry and I will see if I can take that out I um, needed to blow my nose and then like hack up some stuff and I'm sorry <laughs> that's not very attractive not very great for your ears either but I thought I put it on mute but I didn't I didn't let's see water's coming to a boil Noki only takes a couple minutes. It says three to four, and I'm going to remember to reserve the pasta water today because I need that for something. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. We're going to do this. I feel like it's going to be done before I need it. <laughs> I always cut my meat last, um, so we'll do the meat after, or I, if I don't do it last, I'll do it on a separate board, because that's not good to cross-contaminate that. And I did wash and dry everything. We're going to dice the tomato. Are we putting it in the pan with the, I think we are, an onion and season, oh, we're not adding it right away, so... Um, I will dice this in the little chopper thing, too, to get my use out of it today. Because <coughs> I already used it once. Might as well use it again. Um, I am going to turn the water. Oh, what does it say when I add this? Meanwhile, break up the gnocchi with your hands to separate. Carefully add to boiling water. Cook stirring occasionally until tender. Three to four minutes. Okay. That's fine. We can do that. We can do that. Yeah, this is one I f wish they sent me two packages of gnocchi. Um, because <laughs> I love gnocchi. Hot. 
Ooh, that's hot. Santa Sabina. Noki of potato. Product of Italy, though. Let me just... I don't remember ever stirring gnocchi, though. Like, I feel like that's not a thing that I've done in my life. So that's boiling. Um, Alexa, set a timer four minutes. She's been more reliable than me setting my own timers, so if I tell her, she'll do it. We're going to drizzle some oil in a pan in a second. Then we're going to add the, um, let me get a separate pan. I need to open up this sausage. Not a separate pan. Separate cutting board. This is the last thing I'm going to cut open and cut apart. And then the tomatoes are going in the dicer. I need to warm up a pan with some oil. Oh, these smell good. I don't want to, you know, show everybody me decasing these in case you, you know, don't want to see that. But I am decasing them so that I can use them in this recipe because you put them in and like break them up into chunks. So there we go. Oh, I could have done this a little differently, but I didn't. It's fine. Now that that's all set, wash my hands because I'm just going to scoop it in with the, ugh, with the, um, ugh. Come on, come on, sink. Get along with me today. Okay. We're gonna spin over here, so we will go over here. Hi. So that's doing that. We did that. We're gonna heat a drizzle of oil in the pan. Don't need a huge drizzle, but it definitely is a drizzle. It's like, ugh a tablespoon-ish. Nope, wrong burner. That's always good. It says medium. High. We can do that. Once that's heated up, we're going to add some salt, pepper, and onion that we chopped. We're going to stir that around. I want to make sure we don't overboil things. That'd be tragic. Oh, what kind of... Where's the... There is the one I want. I love these. I also liked um, the edge angle spoons. Those are nice as well. Good. I put in just enough oil to be productive and not be over-oiled. This burner isn't as slanted either, which helps. You don't have to put nearly as much in because it doesn't seep to one side. Uh, you can also do this burner on my stove um, at a higher temp and not have to turn it down because it's not the power boil one. Oop. We're going to do the onions first. I'm just making these a little more dicey. Now that they've had some time to think about their, their life choices. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go to the stove. So you can see, I don't know why my water is so frothy. It's really weird. But this should be good for the onion. Let me test it with a couple pieces. Oh yeah, that's good. Scrape that off of there. Alexa, stop. I don't think all of them are at the top, though, are they? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. So we're going to keep that off. I'm going to add these onions super quick because you don't want to overdo gnocchi. It turns into a giant mush mess. So let me just put all this in so that can start doing its thing. 
should have used a spatula so I could get it all, but I'll worry about that in a minute. Let me get some pot holders, which reminds me, I was looking for some stuff to upgrade my kitchen. I'm also uh, going to move some stuff around in my kitchen, so I don't know how that's going to go, because usually this is my wife's domain. Um, I'm sure she won't be super pleased that I'm going to move all these things around on her. <laughs> I'm going to turn it down just a scotch, but not a lot. I did get some onion on my stove, but it's fine. I can clean that up easy. Jillian wants to get a bizarre like mat for the stove um, that is like dishwasher safe um, some sort of thing so that we can just swap out like one or two and then while well, one's dirty and in the wash we can be using the other one or rather we do dishes pretty much every night now um, though I try to, I tried to do like two days of dishes and then it just turned into like a longer project than I really wanted. So some of these are a little bit bigger. So I could have chopped them. If I had chopped them into more consistent slices, I feel like chunks before I put them into that little chopping machine, it may have come better. So we're going to do this until they um, are softened. So a couple more minutes. We're going to put some salt and pepper in here as well. Because you can't go wrong with that. Because it's in every recipe. There was one recipe, I swear, it had it every step. Add salt and pepper. Add salt and pepper. Add salt and pepper. And I was like, but I don't want that much. <laughs> if any of you have ideas for things that you want to see me make things like that um i will be having all sorts of like things that you can do to support me um, and to guide my channel a little bit <clears throat> i mentioned in my twitter and instagram posts that um my mental health comes first and it this meal kit actually has helped me quite a bit in doing that um i would typically resort to nights like these when i don't really want to get off the couch though today is like far superior than like i had the flu earlier this year um it's far superior to that but I would resort to like a can of tuna, um, some crackers and peanut butter, a meal, like a frozen food meal, things like that. So this has motivated me to be engaged more with what like give, and it gives me more variety in what I'm eating, which is really nice because when I was depressed, I didn't really care. And now I don't. I care, but I don't always, like, I don't like meal planning. I find it very difficult, and I can only plan out, like, if I do have done, I have done meal planning in the past, and I've done too many days in a row, like, and then I'd go shopping, get it all, and then life would happen, and I wouldn't be able to make all of them, and things would go bad in the fridge. So this gives me a realistic amount. And if you've heard me before, um, my wife has learned to cook from an Italian family. They only know how to cook for lots of people. Cooking for two people is kind of a feat. It can be done, obviously, but we usually make more. We always have leftovers when she cooks, I swear. So I've been trying to keep that to a minimum. <clears throat> yeah be glad none of you were here this cold it's just I'm really stuffy and yesterday I wasn't very stuffy but I was just 
blah. And the day before I knew something was up, I'm like, I know I'm getting a cold. I can feel it. And sure enough, I woke up the next day and I was like, yep, that's a cold. Are these, are these soft enough? Some of them don't feel soft enough because they're bigger. I don't think that's a huge problem, but I want to make sure that they're going to be cooked down enough. For the next step, which they should be for the next step. Sausage, garlic, and Italian seasoning are going to be first. So let's do that. Uh, Italian seasoning, check. Garlic, check. Meat. Okay, there you go. There's some meat. Don't get stuck to the pan. Come on. <laughs> Not becoming. And it says break it up. I'm going to put in the Italian seasoning, which I'm trying. And this packet is not a... There it is. I finally found the tear on it. It's so far down in the... Oh, that is a lot of Italian seasoning. I hope I was supposed to use that whole packet. Yeah, entire packet. It says it's only one tablespoon, but when you pour it out like that, it looks like a lot. Well, I need to... I don't want to... I'm left-handed, so I don't, I don't want to cook my bad arm, my good arm. Like, I don't want to bump into the handle. I don't know. I feel like this pan is huge. And that's, that's a lot of, a lot of Italian seasoning. I know there's more ingredients that need to go in there, so I get it. Oh, I needed the, let me rinse this out real quick. I need to do the tomatoes. Oh, I also need the, don't worry, I'm watching it. I'm watching it. Um, come on. There we go. Let's get this. This is not the pan. There's a couple pans we have that are really nice. And you can touch the handles because it's different kind of metal. It doesn't do the same. Like, doesn't transfer the heat from the other metal as quickly. I mean, it still does over time. It's definitely going to do that. Um, I'll zoom in on this in just a second so you guys can see it where we're at but yeah this is these meals have really helped me get even more and save more I would I was I was probably wasting so much food so I have to wait till these are cooked through completely for the little browning bits of the pork before I can add these tomatoes so let me just leave it for a minute there I'm going to turn it down, actually, just a scotch. I feel like it's a little too hot. And I'm going to work on dicing these tomatoes. Though I don't know how well these are dicing. They don't, they feel like they're just spinning around in tomato juice. What in the world? Ugh. Well, back over here. And we're going to dice these differently. I apparently... Just can't <laughs> use this today. I don't know what my issue is. I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult, right? It's really good for mixing, though. <laughs> I've used it before successfully. I don't know what my issue is. Maybe it's because I only have so little of this tomato. There's like one... Roma tomato in this. <sighs> nope, it's not. Nope, it's 
it's a me flaw. Let me, hold on, let me stir around some of this real quick so it doesn't burn to the bottom but still cooks through. All those onions sneaking over in the corner. Okay, so it's almost time for me to add the diced tomato and tomato paste. Oh, I forgot there was tomato paste. Let me move this over here. Um, tomato paste, which is good, but let me, I need to chop these finer. Or else they're just going to be giant, giant chunks in this. And that's not what I want. I could have swore I've used this successfully before, and now I'm really annoyed that I have not apparently, cannot ha apparently handle it today. Okay, well, we're going to do this. We're going to put this in here with these, and then I'm going to pour those ju that juices in there. Oh, God. We're going to put this in. Come on. More seasoning with salt and pepper? Jesus. I forgot the k pasta water again. Ugh. They want it for the starchiness of the water, and I keep forgetting. Like, I even said at the beginning of this video that I would remember it, and I didn't. Ugh. That's frustrating. Oh, I should turn on the broiler. I've never used the broil in this one. Okay, broil to high, sweet. This is also a gas stove, so now I'm all confused. Broil, because I know In a electric stove, you open the door. Do you do that in a gas stove? Honey, help me. <laughs> Ooh, this looks really good. Sorry, guys. But this is what it should look like from what I'm gathering. Is It should look like this. Nice and delicious. Nice and, you know, all together. So, we're going to stir in the tablespoon of butter. Um, oh, there is not going to be enough mozzarella in this. Um, <laughs> so, we're going to do that a little bit. And we're going to do some more pepper, but not a lot. And then we're going to, hold on, we're going to do um, the cream cheese, a half a cup of water. Okay, half a cup of water, cream cheese, and some butter. Oh, that's a big tablespoon. I don't think that's a tablespoon. I think that's more than a tablespoon. Uh, we're going to cut just a little bit of that off because that looked like a tablespoon and a half edging towards even more than that.
Oh, that looks so good. It's like nice and creamy now, and there wasn't like a ton of dairy added. I'm sure bigger batches, obviously, but the ratio wasn't horrible because there was like two tablespoons versus two tablespoons of um, butter and cream cheese and there was one two three four like five between the tomato and the pa tomato paste I'm just trying to get some of these other little bits of this the cream cheese and stuff mixed in kind of smoosh that around um, now it says add the gnocchi And it says if it's too dry to add um, some more of the water, but this isn't dry. This is perfect. This is like perfect. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Hold on. There we go. There's a lot of starch on that. It just says to coat this in this. It's like the perfect size pan, but I wish it still wish it was, it like just doesn't look as full. Like I would, I would have preferred it a little fuller but this is what the picture shows is pretty darn close to this um, as to what it looks like so we're going to take this off the heat I'm going to um, I'm not doing any more salt and pepper gosh sprinkle with mozzarella and then which I bought more mozzarella I'm going to put it in the oven in just a second, so when I'm about to do that, I will, I mean, you can never, like, it looks like not enough mozzarella. It looks like not enough mozzarella to me. I'm sure that's the right amount, but you know what? We're going to add just a little bit more because, ooh, we'll do the rustic. There's, I got two different kinds of cheese. I got rustic cut and regular cut. And I bet you I didn't, yep, I didn't cut the bag far enough down. <laughs> and now these are not kitchen shears. What in the world are those? I just want to open this bag and like part of it tore all the way across and part of it did not tear all the way across. So I can open this bag of mozzarella and now it just doesn't want to open at all. That's fine. I just want a little bit more, a little bit, oh yeah, that's going to be good. Some nice big chunky pieces. Oh, she's going to, I mean, she'll put, probably put parm on it too, but. <laughs> okay. I know, my kitchen's a mess right now. It's bringing to me. It says it's only going to take like two, three minutes on the broil, but I feel like the broiler is not on. That doesn't feel warm at all. It says it's on. Huh. Oh yeah, I guess it's on. Because I have a burny part. There we go. That's in my oven now. Because some of went up the side of the pan. Now you can watch me clean up. Usually I just chuck stuff to the side so you guys don't see it till later, but. And then I deal with it. But tonight, you get to watch me throw away all the things. I need to wash that knife. This can go in here. This is only going to take a few minutes, so. Ooh, you can see me watch eat this, though. I went to a little, um on me place today and they had made fresh sesame balls mm -hmm. it will be in two to three minutes sesame balls and they're with um, mung bean instead of red bean so I don't know if I'm gonna love it well, I'm okay with it I'm happy mm-hmm 
So do I have to have the door closed to broil in our oven? Or door open? Door open usually, right? I don't know. Oh. You can, you broil with the door closed. Oh, you do? In yeah. my electric one, you couldn't do that. Oh, no. I thought you were watching, so I asked you on stream. No, I, I didn't have you uh, turned off. Mm. I could just see that we were almost done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hungry. Mm-hmm. Do we need plates? Bowls? Uh, bowls. I would do bowls. Mm-hmm. I'm still connected, so I have to go back down. Okay. That's fine. You and your game. People must be doing something crazy interesting. Though there, there's a person on the, you know how the Twitch hat at the beginning has the little wheel with people? There's someone, a musician on there that has like 1,700 people watching them right now. And I almost started watching them. And then I realized. Oh, do you think it's done? I'm hungry. Well, I want to melt your cheese, lady. It'll be fun. You want your mozzarella cheese melted? It'll be fun. All right, fine. Whatever you want to do. I just need to go back downstairs, so... We'll go back downstairs. You want to bring me my dinner? Fine. She's hungry. And, oh, you just saw my dog in the background, because he's like, oh, you're going to eat? I want food. I want food. I wonder who else is um, streaming in food and drink right now. I'm always interested about that. I know uh, one of the people that streams around the same time as I do and also does, does like later. She streams for, for a really long time, um, almost every day. She uh, is one of the channels that I host. She is pretty cool. I'm just waiting for this to broil, but I didn't want to show you guys a meal that's not done. I want to show you it all melty and cheesy. And I had put that other mozzarella on but it wasn't sitting out like the the mozzarella I had from the kit because I got all the ingredients out first it was fresh in the fridge so that's why it wasn't as melty yeah this is fine she'll be happy let me show you hold on let me get a better grip on that Ooh, look at that it could be a little more melty and things, but I'm happy, and it's happy, and let me put it on some bowls, and we're good to go. I even, there we go. We're just gonna cut that in half, basically. I mean, she'll probably be mad that she, you know, uh, it doesn't look as cool and when it's not like, I'm trying to make it all artistic. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. I just showed it to you guys in a pan. I don't need to you know, show you all the, show it to you all jazzed up, really. Um, yeah, always put water in your pans. I've learned that one the hard way. When you're done cooking, just a quick rinse. Goes a long way. Um, I did wish I had gotten this for four people. It would have been much better as a four person meal because uh, it would have been more like you could go back for seconds and I wouldn't mind I don't think I'd mind having this dish as a leftover though gnocchi isn't you know known for being a good leftover food but there we go it um, doesn't look as impressive now look at that but I took a picture using the skillet and I think that one's going to be the key um, thank you guys for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. As always, you can support me in multiple different ways. Even just following me here on Twitch helps immensely. Or you subscribe on YouTube if you're watching it on YouTube. I have an Instagram and a Twitter. Both Muffin, M-U-F-F-I-N underscore lives, L-I-V-E-S. And then I have a Patreon as well that I will add to my info as well as a bunch of other cool little tidbits that is also at Upbeat Duck. So 
Either Uppy Duck or Muffin underscore lives is where you'll find me. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to go eat this because it is already delicious, even though, shh, you know, I snuck a little taste um, before bringing it down to her, which, oh, actually, I can sneak the taste now. This is my show. I can do what I want. Oh, yeah. Let me get a little bit of this and a little bit of that and some cheese. I need a little bit of cheese. Oh, there we go. So that's all one bite. Look at that. It's ooh, yeah. cheese, pork sausage, and gnocchi on my little baby pork. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you next time. Wah, wah.